eating lower than Obama's was, miss one huge detail. Ever since the media reported that President Donald Trump's approval rating is much lower than former President Barack Obama's was during the first year of his presidency, the left has been celebrating. However, their little party was interrupted when one major detail surfaced that they failed to mention. Although the mainstream media has lost credibility thanks to its incessant biased reporting, major news outlets are still trying to lambaste President Donald Trump in an effort to turn supporters against him. Just like they tried and failed to hand the election to Hillary Clinton on a silver platter, the MSM refuses to acknowledge that their latest polls are yet another attempt to grasp at straws. In a Rasmussen poll released on December 28, Trump was reported to have a 46 percent approval rating, which liberals immediately claimed was far lower than Obama's alleged approval rating at the same time during his first year in office. However, just as every other claim to come from the left-leaning media, not everything was as it seems. According to the Daily Caller, Obama was actually barely clinging on to a 47 percent approval rating and a 52 percent disapproval rating as of December 28, 2009, which is almost identical to Trump's current rating. Here's the real kicker. Not only did Obama's rating fall a whole percentage just one day after the poll but he had actually continued plummeting from a whopping 67 percent while Trump's is actually improving with each passing day. In fact, Obama's approval rating dropped twice as much as Trump's did. On January 20, 2009, Obama was marked as having an incredibly high 67 percent approval rating and 32 percent disapproval. Likewise. Trump's inauguration day approval rating was only 56 percent with 44 percent disapproval. However, Obama's approval rating steadily dropped throughout his first year in office while Trump's only initially declined before hitting a sharp increase in November, which continues to rise. Expectedly, much of Trump's most recent increase in approval among voters could be attributed to the passage of his Republican-led tax reform bill, which offers taxpayers a massive tax cut especially the middle class. Still, there's much more to these polls than meets the eye. Unlike Obama's mostly favorable mainstream media news coverage, Trump and his supporters have suffered media bias. According to a report from the Pew Research Center, a study shows that the Trump presidency has suffered three times as much negative coverage as Obama did in his first year in the White House. This would account for Trump's negative rating being twice that of both George W. Bush and Bill Clinton. The report confirms that early media coverage of Trump was 62 percent negative compared to just 20 percent negative reporting Obama received. Additionally, the mainstream media upped their attacks just two months into Trump's presidency, offering a paltry 5 percent of reports that could be described as positive. Of course, not every record Trump set was against him. In fact, thanks to our current commander-in-chief, U.S. unemployment is at a record low and holding throughout the holidays, reiterating Trump's fulfilled promise to bring jobs back to American citizens. Ironically, it was Obama who said Trump couldn't accomplish this allegedly impossible feat before the 2016 presidential election. When somebody says, like the person you just mentioned who I'm not going to advertise for, Obama began, referring to Donald Trump according to the Gateway Pundit, that he's going to bring all these jobs back, well, how exactly are you going to do that? What are you going to do? There's, uh, no answer to it. He just says, I'm going to negotiate a better deal. Well, how? How exactly are you going to negotiate that? What magic wand do you have? And usually, the answer is, he doesn't have an answer. Despite relentless attacks from the left and its mainstream media lapdogs, President Donald Trump continues to set positive presidential records that Barack Obama never could or even attempted. Fortunately, unlike the left, the numbers don't lie, don't lie.